Hey everybody, uh, I'm finally back. I was gone last week just because uh, there was a lot to do um, in Mexico and I was pretty busy, pretty stressed out. And I'll talk to you guys about that right now in this video. Just making a quick update video in regards to the whole situation and the project, I guess you could call it. I, I'm not exactly sure what you could call it, but just a bit of an update video. As you guys know, I went to Mexico City to do my visa processing and stuff like that. I can tell you up to this point that it went well, but there were complications. So I got to Mexico City, um, you know, everything was pretty cool. We flew in from Guadalajara and, you know, we did a, a bit of a, a bit of, you know, tourist stuff the first night we were there. Here's some pictures of what I did in Mexico City the first night that I got there. It was, it was a pretty nice trip. I, I mean, the first night I could say that. So the next day came, the day of the visa appointment. I was really nervous. I was getting all my paperwork ready. I was like, oh my goodness, I hope it goes good. A tip I can give you is from this experience, if you feel sketchy about something, get it fixed. Like you can't walk into the embassy or the consulate, whatever, wherever you're going for, a visa application feeling sketchy about some of your paperwork because if you're feeling sketchy about it then that means it's incomplete tip you know the more you know um, I went in there was a pretty decent queue waiting outside of the consulate several a lot of young men and women um, I got to talk to a couple of them you know some of them were doing their masters some of them were barely just going um, like me, some young people, some older people. I know one of the guys was going just to study French, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, so my turn came, and you know, I'm a pretty clumsy person. I'm pretty clumsy. Like, some people are like, oh my goodness, you're so smart. I'm like, mm, I'm clumsy. So you walk into this gate, and there's an officer booth on the side, you walk into this little gate, officer booth on the side, you show them what you got, have to take out all the metal that you have in your pockets and, you know, show it to him, go through this metal detector and um, show him your documents, what you have. So I showed him all that stuff. I dropped a couple of stuff, you know, clumsy me, I dropped some stuff and then I walked in and, you know, I thought I was supposed to bring my grandma because she's my, um, I guess you could say my financial backbone throughout this trip. I mean, I have my own money, but um, the embassy requires that you have some sort of financial backbone, I like to call, um, just in case you are in need of economic support while you're there. They don't want you to be, you know, broke while you're in France because, you know, that just kind of hits, it hits hard, especially when you're in another country. I went in and, uh, you know, it took probably about 30, 45 minutes for me to be greeted by somebody at one of the booths. And, you know, yeah, it was worth the wait though. So I went to one of the booths and this is where things turned around a lot. The lady that was behind the booth, you know, she asked for my paperwork, uh, how long I was staying in France, uh, what I'm studying, what I'm doing, et cetera, so on and so forth. And um, I mentioned that my grandma was here with me and she's she asked me, why did you bring your grandma all the way from, you know, Guadalajara. Like, well, I don't really know the city. And she just kind of looked at me like weird. Like, okay, you know, where is this going? Spanish being, not being really my forte. Um, she asked me, uh, we were reviewing over my financial stuff. And she asked me if my grandma was retired in Spanish. And um, it was a, a weird word and I asked her, excuse me, what does that mean? She looked at her coworkers and she asked them, is this a word in Spanish? And they said, yeah. And, and she's like, 
he just asked me what this means. I'm like, what? And they were laughing. I'm like, oh, okay. And the reason why I was kind of like, what the hell is going on is because, I mean, everybody has their own story, but this is really important to me. This is like a situation that's like, you know, been on my mind for a long time. And up to that point, like I'd sacrificed so much. And, you know, it's a very, it's something very important to me, very, you know, strictly professional. And to be laughed at at the embassy just kind of really, I guess, took me by surprise. I was being laughed at at the embassy. So yeah, that happened and I was just kind of confused like, what's going on? Where's this going? And of course I didn't ask that, but I just kind of stood there looking at this lady like, what? I guess she was nice enough to, you know, stamp my thing. She's like, come back tomorrow. I guess I was misinformed about the um, financial thing. So I had to bring in my own financial documents. I came back the next day. I was helped out by another lady, um, which was a lot more, I guess, calm. <laughs> she just took my papers. You no, know, everything was very simple. And this time um, I had gotten some more documentation. Um, I had to get another financial uh, supporter because uh, my grandma's stuff wasn't it wasn't enough and it was to a point incomplete so I had to get another financial supporter and that was a pretty hectic process but luckily I got one um, yeah I went back and I gave her all my documents everything was completed uh, and that lady was there again and I'm like and she asked, okay, this is where I was like, I'm done. <laughs> she asked her coworker, the lady that was helping me out in French as if I didn't know French. Is that the same guy from yesterday or is it another one? And she's like, it's the same one. And she made like face and I'm like, I asked the lady that was helping me out in French, is there a problem? And she kind of stood quiet. She's like, not right now. <laughs> like, okay, good. Cause like, I mean, I want to know if there's a problem with my paperwork or if there's a problem with anything that I just presented, like what's going on? Like, like I said, again, like I'm here for business related things. I'm not here to joke around. Like this isn't a joke to me. I turned in all my paperwork. Uh, she took my passport. She took my fingerprints and she gave me this link and a number to check, you know, how my thing is going, how my visa is going um so yeah she gave me that link and i'm checking it every once in a while i should have i should have news later on this week on how it's going so i'm not exactly sure if i got accepted yet or not it's still kind of like iffy to me which is crazy i really hope i get it because i've worked really hard for this and i've sacrificed so much just to be where i am right now and uh, yeah, I really hope life is on my side right now because that whole shenanigan that happened at the embassy just kind of threw me over a bit. Afterwards, I had to miss my flight because I had to go in the next day at the embassy. I had to miss my flight, but luckily the same day we took a bus back to Guadalajara. It was a pretty long bus ride, but it was really comfortable. And um, yeah, I, it was just really tense, but I was really relaxed at the same time just because the landscape was so beautiful. Here are a couple of pictures I took from the ride over, they're really nice. But yeah, um, I'm back and I'm awaiting the response, you know, I'm just kind of on the edge of my seat, checking the website every single day, every single hour. I'm probably gonna check it after I film this video just to see if there's been any updates. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. I hope everything goes well because I also heard that Aurora, you guys know who Aurora is if you know me, my favorite singer. 
She's having concerts. She's coincidentally having concert in Paris on the 28th of August. I hope that's a sign that everything fall, that everything's gonna work out and that I'm gonna get my visa and you know, life's just gonna fall in place. I also wanna give a big shout out to all my friends and family who really sent out a bunch of support last week to me on Facebook and social medias. I really appreciate it. Really kept my chin up after that event at the consulate that kind of just tossed me over, just kind of ripped me in half a bit. But thank you guys so much. I felt so much love and I really needed it. Thank you so much. Also shout out to my crazy crew, the K crew, my clique. Uh, <laughs> They really went above and beyond in how crazy they are. Uh, <laughs> gave me a good laugh too, like after I came back from the whole shenanigan at the consulate the first day. <laughs> Everybody just all of a sudden became a suburban mom. I don't know how it happened, but here it is. You can see for yourself. <laughs> guys at that i'll get back to you guys next week on how the visa thing is going and if it's a yes or if it's a no um yeah thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for, thank you guys for your support remember to like and subscribe and share and you know show it to your friends show it to your family show it to your pet i have a really large pet audience I don't know. Ask my friend Mercedes. I think her birds watch me. I don't know. All right. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget, keep dreaming. Goodbye.